Right, so this is example five, and we're going to work out the shear and bending moments on this um, supported beam. All right, so let's begin by working out the uh, reaction forces. Uh, so this is 50 kilonewtons per meter, that's 200 meters, so that's the same as having uh, 100 kilonewtons at that distance, which is one meter, or that distance here which is two four which is five meters and this is the same as having 20 kilonewtons by two meters that's the same as 40 kilonewtons and that distance there then is one meter which means that distance there is five meters also so let's take the moments about a and the clockwise moments would be uh, 100 kilonewtons multiplied by one plus what we're saying 40 kilonewtons multiplied by that distance is five and that's equal to r d by two four six so RD is equal to 50 kilonewtons. Uh, if I take the moments about uh, D, I would say that clockwise we have 6RA is equal to uh, this one here, which is 40 by 1 plus over here was 100 by 5. And that's equal to 540 divided by 6 is 90. Okay, so that's that's 90 kilonewtons, and RD is 50 kilonewtons, and let's tidy up the slide now. Okay, so if I want to take a segment here between A and B, I can say that the shear force between A and B is going to be equal to 90 kilonewtons minus uh, 50 kilonewtons times X, okay, whatever that value of x is and uh, yeah that's it and then the moment from a to b is going to be 90 k times x minus 50 k times x by okay i'm going to actually the centroid which is x over 2 x over 2 which is 90 kx minus 25x squared okay if i take from uh, b to c so a segment in here so the shear force between b and c that's equal to 90k minus well that's going to be 50 by uh, 2 And that is equal to, uh, that should be K. So that's 100 and that's 90, so that's equal to minus 10K. And then if I'm looking at the moment from B to C, that's going to be, so this value here is now, this is now X. Um, it's 90KX minus so that's going to be 50 by 2. And it's going to act in here, which is the centroid, which is 1 uh, meter. So it's going to be x minus um, 1. And that works out to be um, minus 
10 kx plus 100 k. And finally, if I want to get the uh, shear force in here, so the shear force between C and D, that's going to be uh, 90 minus uh, over here is 100. And if this is now X, that's now X, we have 20, uh, I'm running out of room, minus 20 times X minus, so that's 4. So that this, if that's X, and that distance here is the 4, this distance here is X minus 4. So when I do that, I get VCD is equal to, uh, which is about to be minus 20x plus 70. And that's all in K. Okay, and then if I want to get the bending moment between C and D, so it's so 90x minus, uh, that's 100 by 50 by 2, which is 100 times x minus 1, because okay, that's acting through the centroid. And then over here, we'll have minus, okay, so that's going to be 20 times x minus 4 times x minus 4 all over 2. And that works out to be minus 10x squared plus 70x minus 60. Okay, and if I put those values into Excel, I would get something like this. So there's my shear force diagram. And that's my uh, bending moment. Okay, that's that example.